Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi. Today we continue with our discussion on uh, osmosis and uh, we are going to look at uh, the factors affecting the rate of osmosis. So on this, uh, we are discussing the factors that are likely to increase or decrease the rate of osmosis. And the first factor that we shall talk about is the concentration gradient between the solutions the concentration gradient between the solutions. Now, uh, we explain the concentration gradient as the concentration difference that exists between two solutions that are separated by a semi-permeable membrane. For example, uh, if, for example, one of the solutions is sugar solution and the other one is distilled water, then it means that there exists a concentration gradient between the two. There is a concentration difference between the two solutions. So the steeper the concentration difference or the wider the difference, the steeper the concentration gradient, the faster the rate of osmosis. In other words, what we are saying is that the wider the difference in concentration between the two solutions, the higher the rate of osmosis. So concentration gradient, we are saying that uh, concentration uh, gradient is the difference in concentration between two solutions. And we can say that the steeper the concentration gradient, the faster. the rate of osmosis. The faster the rate of osmosis. And vice versa. So that means that uh, if uh, the, co uh, the concentration gradient is less steep, that means the solutions have almost the same concentration. Then the rate of osmosis will be slow. But if there is a very steep difference between the two solutions, then the rate of osmosis will be faster. Uh, the second factor that you're going to talk about is temperature. And what the temperature does is that uh, an increase in temperature increases the kinetic energy of water molecules and they tend to move faster. Thus, increasing the rate of osmosis. So basically those are the two uh, main factors that affect uh, the rate of osmosis. We have the concentration gradient and temperature. Uh, we are going to look at uh, the role of osmosis 
in living organisms in other words we are asking ourselves where is osmosis uh, important in living organisms or where is osmosis applied in living organisms so we'll, we'll start with plants in plants then we shall go to animals uh, in plants uh, we have absorption of water from the soil by root hair cells that occurs by osmosis so when plants absorb water from the soil by use of root hair cells that requires osmosis and remember it's purely absorption of water nothing else number two uh, turgidity of plant cells brings about support. In other words, you are saying that uh, when plant cells gain water by osmosis, their cells become turgid. And when they become turgid, they can maintain an upright posture, which is very important for the support. Uh, next, we have feeding in insectivorous plants. Insectivorous plants are those plants that feed on insects. We can have an example e.g. something like Venus fly trap. And what happens is that uh, these plants accumulate water on their leaves so that they can be able to trap whichever the insect or whichever the animal that they are trapping. So that occurs as a result of accumulation of water on the leaves, making the cells to become turgid and therefore close in or trap in uh, the insect. Number D, uh, opening and closing of stomata. is based on uh, osmosis uh, for example we know that uh, plants open their stomata uh, during the day and close them at night so that is controlled by osmosis they open their stomata during the day to allow gases enter and close them at night so that controlling of the opening and the closing is done with the application of osmosis next we look at animals in animals we have a a process called osmoregulation And this is the absorption of water in the kidney tubules to bring about water balance. So animals are able to balance the amount of water that they are going to lose from their body or from their kidneys uh, by osmosis. And this process is called osmoregulation, which means regulation of osmotic pressure of body fluids. Another role that is in animals
is absorption of water in the large intestines in the large intestines of mammals that one also applies osmosis so basically uh, those are the roles uh, in which osmosis is applied in living organisms that is in plants and also in animals the assignment So the first question in the assignment, explain how concentration gradient affects the rate of osmosis. And two, state the two, state two roles of osmosis, A in plants and B in animals. So we'll stop there until next time. Goodbye. <laughs>